Hey, it's Jillian, and this short guided visualization meditation is designed to assist you in your weight release journey, making it easier every day. Every time that you listen to this, the effect of the suggestions will be more and more powerful. And sometimes you're going to hear my voice in layers. Don't try to figure everything out. Don't try to listen to everything, figure what you can hear. Don't even stress yourself. Know that your subconscious is not missing anything. There's just so much to say. And the bottom line is that you can do whatever you want. You are fully deserving of the best quality of life. And I'm uncomfortable with the fact that I used deserving just now as a word. That's not, that brings the ego into it. And it's really not an ego thing. It is your natural state to have the best quality of life. So when you're not in that best quality, that's when it starts to feel, um, the conflict feels uncomfortable and the circumstances around that are uncomfortable as well. So this life is here to enjoy and we're gonna start with this meditation and just getting comfortable. Get yourself cozy at this moment. Depending on the part of the day, um, you can either be sitting or laying down. It really kinda doesn't matter for this particular meditation. Sitting is perfect earlier in the day because sitting erect will message your body to stay alert. But if it's evening or if it's nap time, um, feel free to lay down. This particular meditation works well while you're sleeping, so lying down would be perfectly fine as well. If you're sitting, the idea is that you want to make your spine straight up and down. And in either position, the goal is to get comfortable. Relax. We're going to start with a few clearing breaths. And as you do this, what you want to do is mentally gather up a few excuses. These are excuses that you think have gotten in your way, you know, or things, people, places, stuff that you think has gotten in your way, slowed you down in your weight release process. Gather up all of those excuses, whether they are legitimate or not. That's not what the situation is here. We're not deciding whether they are legitimate excuses. We're just, just the excuses. Gather them up and get ready to breathe them out with three deep clearing breaths. We're going to be breathing the excuses completely out of your system. Fear, low self-worth, bad habits, stress, a relentless desk job, whatever it is, breathe it out. You're gonna breathe it out of your system. And so this means that you're going to inhale as deep as you can and then exhale with even more gusto than that. You're going to exhale with even more depth, if that makes sense, um, more thoroughly than you inhale, okay? This is good stuff. As you exhale as deeply as possible, you are consciously releasing the excuses, blowing the excuses out of you. See them, visualize them floating or flying up away from you into the heavens. Know that spirit is gonna do the work of transforming those excuses, the energy of that, back into the nothingness from whence it originally came. So when you um, do the breathing exercise and you blow it out, know that spirit is handling, neutralizing that energy. You will not breathe it back in, okay? Once you've exhaled it out, it's done. So just be really clear on your intentions. So let's do three deep breaths. Inhale as deeply as you can. And now exhale with even more gusto. And then inhale again. And then exhale all of those excuses, release them out. And one more time, inhale deeply. And exhale it out. And so let's just focus on the breath now. Breath of life. Did you know that a synonym for spirit is breath of life? And we're spirit beings, so that explains why breath is so important. But don't change your breathing at this moment, just notice it. Only adjustment you're going to make is to inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Keep breathing. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Keep breathing. 
and relax. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And with every breath, you're becoming more and more relaxed. Awesome. The here and now is so awesome in this fully relaxed state. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. But let's go somewhere. Imagine yourself sitting in a beautiful meadow. Lots of green all around you. Lots of flowers. Lots of blue sky and some really, really pretty clouds dancing in a, a light breeze. And you notice that you are following a dirt trail made of really rich clay. This dirt trail is leading to a path of flagstone. You know that flat rock that you can use for like stepping stones? There's a long path of them cutting through the meadow. This path of flagstone goes as far as you can see. In fact, way, way, way down there, you think maybe you see a moving dot. Maybe, nah, oh, wait, yeah, the dot is moving and growing. Oh, wait a minute, 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 it's not a dot. It's approaching and it's a person. It's a person walking, approaching from that horizon in this massive meadow. Eventually, it becomes pretty clear that they are coming your way. There's no other path, none that you can see anyway. It's straight towards you, directly towards where you are sitting right now. You've taken a seat on a lovely wooden bench beside a stream of calmly moving water and the fish have your attention right now. And there are a couple of swans. For a brief, relaxing moment, you've forgotten about the dot person. But then, without even thinking, you turn and look straight ahead, right in front of where you're sitting, still in the distance, but wow, they are so much closer now. There's nothing between where you are and where they are except this straight path of beautiful flagstone laid out perfectly in this magnificent meadow. They're close enough now that you can't help but notice this person's very confident strut. I mean, no, that's not a walk. That is a strut, like wow. It's like this person truly enjoys the simple act of putting one foot in front of the other. Just walking, they're into it like, damn. A confident gait and a carefree kind of vibration. They're just enjoying their journey through the meadow. They're looking around, they're loving the nature, the birds, the butterflies, the flowers. This person that you're watching is radiating joy and bliss. You can't take your eyes off them. You have this deep sense of admiration. You want what they have and they're getting even closer. You're starting to be able to see some, some details. Wow, they sure know how to dress, right? Perfect outfit to show off that perfectly toned body. And they continue to strut towards you. They're getting way close now. You're starting to be able to see like facial features and you tilt your head a little bit and squint for clarity. With surprise, you were starting to realize, wow, this person is you. And inside your head, you're like, oh my God, that's me. That's you. And look at you. That confident, cool strut continues. And you can't help but notice how happy this other you is. This person, you, look amazing. 
so comfortable in your body. Change your outfit. Or their outfit. It's your outfit. It's you. But change the outfit, you know, have them do a little runway spin for you so you can see the outfit and have them model it for you. Accept that this is real. What you're seeing is real because you're seeing it. You are looking at yourself after significant weight release. We're about to make it even more real. Keep admiring yourself while I count down from five to one. And in the moment when I reach the number one, you're going to become one with this vision. You'll merge into that body that you've been admiring. Five, four, three, two, one. You're in. You're you. Look down and notice that you're looking past your flat belly. You can see your feet. Feel the perfection that your body is. Your excess weight is nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be felt. All you can feel is fitness. You can feel the waistline of your clothing around your small, firm midsection. Walk in this body and go ahead and assume that strut that you saw yourself doing before. You are fierce, you are magnificent, you are perfection. Your body is healthy and strong. Healthy, strong, and by Jove, you are so attractive. You're standing there now at your natural way right now this is now, 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 right now. Feel it in this moment. Feel how gracefully you can move around right now. Get grounded in this with a deep breath, deeply inhale and release. Staying in this newly discovered you, you are at your natural weight, staying in that place. Let's simply change the scene. Move yourself now from the meadow to your home. It's morning, and you've awakened to find yourself in the same bodily perfection as you discovered in the meadow. You're getting dressed for work. You're all ready now, and now you're in the kitchen. You create a delicious, healthy breakfast without even like concentrating on it. You consume 20 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, no sugar, and a mere 220 calories altogether, and you feel satisfied, energized, ready for your day. You're on a roll. You love your body and your body loves you. Dressing for work is easy. Dressing for anything is easy. You feel differently now about food. You feel differently now about your body. Magically, you're not interested in carbs or sugar. You crave healthy green food. Food that will boost your body's immune system, strengthen your vitality. You love nuts and fruits and other natural sources of authentic nutrition. Deep within you, there's been a healing. You notice that you're no longer in need of food just to fill anything emotional. It's like that place where that condition was is now empty. There's nothing there. After this visualization session, in those future moments, you're going to find yourself reacting instead with the desire to work out, to burn some calories, to do something that will enhance your life, enhance your day. See yourself working out now. See that in your head right now. Feel the invigorating pulsation of giving your workout 1,000% of your energy. See yourself getting to the end of that workout, feeling the endorphins of a job well done towel over your shoulder, you grab your bottle of water and guzzle a bunch before showering to change and move into the rest of your day. The more you do this visualization, the more your body will believe it. The body you want is already there. You are now allowing your body to take that on. Your body is gaining the understanding as it believes what you're thinking, what you're saying, what you're picturing in your mind and what you're focusing on. The cells of your being believe the activity of your mind. So do this meditation regularly until it becomes second nature. Eventually, in the back of your mind, it'll be like, of course. You can do one of two things now, depending on whether you're sitting or lying down. If your intention is to fall asleep after, and maybe you're already asleep, well, then that's beautiful. Sleep tight. Allow your body to continue shrinking tonight. For those sitting or laying down but needing to be awake now, 
um, at your leisure, bring your consciousness back to the current physical dimension where you are. Feel the surface where you are sitting or laying underneath you. Notice your breathing. And when you're ready, open your eyes and continue having a beautiful day. <laughs>